Hello everyone, it's me, Dam, and I am packing for my trip, my surgery trip. Any guesses on what I'm getting done? More about that later. So I just wanted to show you guys what I'm packing. Um, it's not much. We'll start with some compression socks. That's really, really good for after surgery. Um, your flights, just really good. They have a lot of benefits. Moo-moos. I'm bringing seven, even though it was only recommended to bring um, like three or four because most of the girls are only in their faja and like a sports bra. But I'm gonna go ahead and bring my big long dresses. I think this is the longest one, the longest and biggest one. I have three like this. Pretty comfy. And then I have some like this that I got from Target a while back. Kind of similar to what I have on. So I'll probably mostly be in that. And I have some shirts, just regular tank tops. I get these, I, I get my tank tops from Target and they're actually maternity shirts, which I like to wear them because they're longer and they don't have the little side, little mooching that you know that most maternity shirts have so yeah those are my faves from target i got this color that color black and my white shirt did i bring it in here no and i got some dark colored pants because you know might have a little accident some bleeding dark color pants and then I'm also being that I'm gonna be out there for so long I'm also bringing some little clothes because my birthday is gonna be while I'm out there so you know toward the end of my trip I might want to go sightsee see the city the country so yeah that this is just all me and this dress, no, nothing crazy. Okay. Then I'm gonna also bring like a hit some head scarves to wrap my hair up because I was gonna get braids, but I decided to just leave this because it still looked good. So whatever. These were highly recommended to bring. Band Aid True Absorb Gauze Sponges. I'm bringing that. This is a, uh, the drain pouch for my drains to go in. Yep. These are some gall more gauze sheets. I don't even remember. A lot of this stuff I bought in June, so I don't even know what it's for. I don't know, this is how it looks. I don't know. We'll figure that out. I'll probably bring a few, whatever. This is some tape. 3M surgical tape. You've all seen it. I do tape. Some Neosporin. One of the girls said that was highly recommended. This is my female urinal. Supposedly right after surgery, you really can't um, sit down or squat down, obviously. So, need that. This is some, um, looks like laxatives. 
Hope I don't need that, but if I do, this is Hippoclans. This is really good to wash in before surgery, after surgery. It's just like a skin cleanser. Everybody recommends it. And this, this Dakin solution, this is really good for like wound care, infections, um, anything like that. Uh, again, I got this back in June and when I was going to another doctor, but all of those girls are getting infections. I'm not gonna say any names, but yeah, those girls that went to that doctor recommended this. So I probably won't need it, but uh, it won't hurt to bring. It'll fit. And then I got some books. Plan on doing some reading since I'm gonna be out there for at the very least four weeks. Um, the only thing that is missing is like my toiletries, like my soap, my deodorant, what else? Mm, lotion, I guess, some shea butter. Don't really need anything for my hair, but some water. Um, I think that's it. I'm not bringing any bags. I'm not bringing any jewelry. I'm not bringing any like heels, like just really laid back, relaxed. Like I heard most of the girls are gonna be um, like mostly in their faja and sports bra. So that's it. The only thing I have to get from the store is some slippers and I guess a sports bra. I get a sports bra. So I think that's it. I'm bringing a carry. No, I'm, I'm bringing a carry on size bag, but I'm going to still have to check it because of stuff like this. And I guess I can bring my full size skincare too. So I think that's it.